Uh, uh, okay. It'll just cost a penny. Hi, I'm Ginger Pale, and it's 1910, and boy, this time period sucks. Ginger Pale, you were still dead in 1910. How could you be here? I'm here to talk about arcades, more specifically, game arcades. As the word originally applied to any buildings with arches or columns that were used as venues for things like shopping, entertainment, and eventually, games. So that's why we're starting here in 1910, where the term penny arcade is first coined. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks, that's comedy. Step right up and forget your worries with a little bit of good old family fun. Crippling debt, terrible working conditions, a general lack of medicine and hygiene. Forget about all that and game your worries away. You, sir, are you poor? <laughs> yeah. Ew. But, uh, that's perfectly fine. Only a penny to play. A steal of a deal, if I do say so myself. Don't be fooled by this guy. A penny in 1910 is equivalent to about 27 cents today. You know, because inflation and stuff. Better start investing. Or learn what inflation means. It's the Penny Arcade. Everything is mechanical. No fancy pants electronics here. Want to test your skills? Pinball. Try to get it in the holes with the most points. Bagatelle. Try to shoot your balls into the holes with the highest points. With a friend. Pachinko. Try to get it in the holes with the- Wow, they were really a simpler kind of people back then. Need some entertainment? Puppet shows, jukeboxes, peep shows, uh, not the kind you're thinking of, y you freak. I'm looking at a horse. That's great, good for you. Maybe you want to test your luck. Fortune teller, slot machine, stand behind this horse. Yo, this kid's paying out. Many of the games also allowed for you to win pennies back, which is a little weird to me because gambling was pretty much completely outlawed in 1910. And now kids have access to it. Eventually society realizes this and they take it out on pinball. It gets banned in 1942 and it only took nearly 35 years, but they added some flippers, removed the cash prizes, and boom! It's no longer child-led gambling. By this point, a couple of nerds start playing around with computers and it paves the way to the golden age. It's the video arcade! Atari makes computer space. We hate it! Atari makes Pong. Space Invaders, Asteroids, Galaxian. There's high score tables and everything is about the competition. Only costs a quarter, that's that's about 78 cents today. Pack Pack, Centipede, Frogger. Oh wow, the companies are getting competitive too. That's that's a lot of games. Dank Dong, Dig Dug, Qbert. Who are these guys? Uh, who are you? Who's gonna buy all this stuff? And just like that, the video game arcade crash of 1983. People wanted this many games and you made this many. You see that? That's too many. Hardcore gamers were mastering the simple games and wanted more of a challenge. While the masses of normies were put off by new complex games, there's too many buttons! And like pinball, everyone seems to think all these games are a bad influence on little people. I think it's fine if they want to shoot some aliens or run some people over or kill them. Okay, I see the problem. But I mean, Pac-Man eats fruit. Was there an increase in fruit sales in 1980? I don't know. All I know is the golden age is dead. So where do we go now? Wait, what's that? W what's going on here? Hand. Uh, sure. Stamp! Ooh, what was that for? It's so we don't lose the kids. But I'm 22. <laughs> no free token for you then. Aw. Uh -uh. Wow, it looks like some sort of present day installment of an arcade. I'm sure this won't be terrible or ran on some sort of gimmick that tricks me into thinking the games are worth playing even though they're horribly overpriced. Ah, oh, f***. Well, let's go check it out. Oh, this is just a phone game, but big. Much like my disappointment. Wow, this one looks easy. Wrong. It's rigged. Jackpot? More like Jack Squat. They literally have settings on them for how hard you want to rig them. Now these are the real games. Balls, dancing, and guns, my three favorite things. Wait, what the hell is that? Uh, l let's go cash in our tickets. Sir, I have 5,000 tickets. What can I get? Yeah, okay, well, I, I like candy. I spent $100 for this. Oh hey guys, thanks for watching the video. So there was a lot of cool information I ran into when I was researching for this video, and I didn't get to touch on all of it. So if you guys want to learn more, there's a cool article that I'm linking in the description. Go check it out. Besides that, don't forget to like the video if you liked it, or comment your favorite retro game. Mine was Donkey Kong. Uh, besides that, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye